Hey guys, it's Angie Thomas from Thomas Family Hustle 205. Thanks for joining us today. So today I want to go over with you guys um, some of the shipping process for eBay sales. Um, you may or may not be familiar. You might be in the stage of just gathering information before you really get started on eBay. Um, you may be in the process of just listing some of your first items. So I want to run through this process with you so that we can make sure you know what you're doing and hopefully some of these things might um, help you to do what you need to do. So let's get started. So I've got um, currently five items that need to be sold. Um, we are going to go ahead and print shipping labels to each and every one of them. Uh, and I'm going to have you join me today. Don't mind the pop-ups. So the first thing that we're going to be selling or shipping today is going to be a set of five Bic Comfort 3 razors. Each uh, razor has three blades. Each pack is a four pack. So in essence, you're getting 20 total razors. I make sure to be very descriptive with my numbers and my quantities when I'm posting an item so that everything should be abundantly clear to the uh, end consumer or the buyer. So we've gone ahead and gotten these out of our um, area where we keep all of our products for shipping. And we're going to get these packaged up so that we can't possibly bust them and we'll get the process started. I've got my handy scale here. You can get this actually on Amazon is where I found mine. Mine's an Accutech. Um, really any, any basic scale will work that's going to read out in pounds and ounces um, because sometimes we do have to be really specific with our ounces when we're doing shipping depending on what class of mail we're going to be shipping. Um, so this one does exactly everything I need. Now, I have created um, for our packages some quick thank you cards. Um, obviously not hugely personalized, it's not being handwritten, but it is a gratuitous thank you to all of our customers. Simply says Thomas Family Hustle 205, which is of course the name of our eBay store, as well as here on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Um, just tell them thank you very much for their purchase, and on the back we appreciate all feedback. Um, obviously as an eBay seller it's really important to have as much feedback as you can. Um, it helps people to acknowledge the fact that you um, are a steady seller, that you are um, a good seller, um, that you have positive reviews. So this is just one way that we encourage our customers to make sure that they um, leave us feedback so that we can improve our scores. So. I've got this wonderful bag. Honestly, anytime you have products shipped into you, um, consider keeping some of the bits and pieces uh, for your own shipping purposes. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and put in our five Bic Comfort Razors. Okay. Put my thank you card in. And I'm going to ship this in a poly bag. Mine are cute and decorative, so those are just a little bit different from the average Joe. Oh, I like to roll. Okay. sellers that do, but so be it. So we've got the scale zeroed out. We are at a whopping 10 ounces. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to come back over here to my eBay um, shipping page. I've got zero pounds. I only had 10 ounces and it does ask me for dimensions. Um, unless it's excessively large when you're shipping first class, it's not hugely necessary to be exact with your measurements. Um, so I'm just going to ballpark it, rounding it up. My package is approximately 10 by 9 by 4, just to be safe. 4 by 10 by 9. Okay. So now I have the eBay discounted rates here. Um, and it says that USPS first class package is going to cost me a total of $4.68. Um, I did weigh my product with um, some kind of packaging as I listed it so I would know the approximate weight so I knew what the shipping cost would estimate to be. 
Um, first class is hands down the way to go if your product is less than a pound in weight. Um, it is by far and away the least expensive. Um, and we've got some shoes to ship here in a minute, so we'll actually talk a little bit more about the uh, more expensive options um, or the best way to keep cost under control for things that are more than a pound. That'll be just a minute. So I've gone ahead and clicked first class package. It is your own personal preference. It is my preference. I always like to click add a message in the dispatch confirmation email. This is the email that's going to go to the customer um, with their tracking information so they know that you've done your job and you've shipped your product. I do like to make sure I have thanked them again for their business. Obviously, I've already put a thank you card in um, the bag, but I still want to um, tell them thank you again. It, it, it won't hurt you. Kindness has never killed, I promise. So, thank you for your business. Enjoy your purchase. So, I'm going to purchase my shipping label. That's a little wonky, bear with me. Okay. Now, everybody is shipping a little bit different. Some people pay to have the more expensive um, printers where it'll just shoot you out a label. Um, that's not me. When I was starting, I wanted to keep costs low. I already had an everyday printer. So, uh, personally speaking, I use these handy little, I guess, packing list envelope, um, technically speaking. I use this. I cut down my paper to size. Don't you love my uh, Christmas scissors? Like, honestly, though, I'm just, I'm just saying. Keep it fresh around here, people. You know, we have flowers on our bag. We got presents on our, on our uh, scissors. We like to keep it a little different and unique around here. So... We don't waste around here. We will use this to ship another product. We will use that for a label in just a few. So, I've got my envelope ready to go. For me, I like to give myself an extra layer of um, sealing my package. So I will put my shipping label over the area where we just uh, closed our bag. And we are finished with that one, guys. So we've got a few more to get done. We are going to click on Go to ship your next item. It is a new feature, as you can see on eBay. But when you've got a multitude of uh, things to ship, it really does help to speed up the process versus going back to your eBay orders, clicking into another one. It, it, it helps to keep the process moving just a little bit. So this is actually going to be a pair of... Brooks women's shoes, running shoes. Brooks is actually a pretty popular name brand for running, and you can see these are not hugely used. Um, they're in really great condition. Before we had to do any cleaning or scrubbing, they they look really good. So now, as we talked about just a minute ago, there are some items that are going to weigh more than a pound, and if I'm not mistaken, the shoes without any packaging weighs right around a pound. Let's see. Let's see if I know what I'm talking about. Yahtzee! One pound, three ounces is what they weigh without any kind of packaging. So now we have to consider options. Obviously, I want to keep my costs as low as possible because that allows my profit to grow just a little bit more. Every penny counts. We all know those old sayings. So sometimes your buyer will actually specify the type of shipping that they want. And as you can see here, my buyer has um, selected... USPS priority mail. Personally speaking, it hurts my feelings. Um, it is $11. <clears throat> it hurts. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, however, if you have some, um, I like to compare it first to any other rates. If UPS ground was comparable, I would say, you know what, let's, let's just do the darn thing. Uh, however, in this case, since they have selected a particular type of shipping, we need to follow through with what they've requested. So, I've got some packing supplies here. If you'll um, we'll fast forward this part, give me just a minute. We're going to go ahead and get these packed up, ready to go. Don't forget to jump onto the USPS website and order yourself some free shipping supplies.
Now, I'm going to be honest with you, this particular package was one that confused me until I talked to some of the guys at my local post office. It simply says mailing box. And I'm sure you've seen priority mail flat rate envelopes, um, small box, medium box, regional boxes, things of that sort. I know you've seen them. I've seen them. But what does it mean if it just says mailing box? That's so wide open in my opinion. So I asked the guys at the post office. And they informed me that so long as I am shipping something via USPS Priority Mail, um, it is okay to use these boxes. It must be shipping priority. It can't be first class. It can't be parcel select. It has to be shipping priority. Um, they do, of course, have boxes in different sizes. We just talked about small boxes, medium boxes, large flat rate boxes. They've got um, regional mailers, regional region A, region B. There's, oh my God, you'll get confused when you go on that website to start ordering boxes. But I do highly recommend if you're looking at getting into anything that's going to weigh a pound or more, something like shoes, for instance, I really would recommend that you would get some of these uh, very generic boxes um, from the USPS website that just say mailing box. It's going to save you money because things are free, so long as you're not using and abusing them, of course. So. I've got my shoes. I'm going to go ahead and wrap them. A little bit of bubble wrap, never hurt anybody. Okay. okay. Now I have obviously a product that does not quite match my box, but overall it does. Again, every time you receive a package, I'm telling you guys, save yourself some money. Keep some of the miscellaneous stuff that comes in them. I'm going to put some air pillows at the bottom of the box so that my shoes don't bang against the box while they're in transit. And then I've got a little bit of room at the top here. So I'm going to put air pillows there. My thank you card. Don't send anything without a thank you. We want, to, we want them to know that they are appreciated. And let's test this. Still need a little bit more packing in there. I've got some more air pillows. We don't want, if at all possible, we don't want the package to shimmy and shake too much. Um, it just really means it's not secure. So we're going to do our best. So much better, you guys. So. We're going to go ahead and tape this up. I already know it's going to be priority. I've got my product inside. I've got my thank you card. I've got it packed well enough that it's not making any noise when I shimmy and shake it. But we're going to need a final weight. I don't know if you know this, but the box weighs something. So you can't just weigh the product itself and call it a day. So we are at one pound, nine ounces. So I'm going to go back to the top. I'm going to tell it it's not two pounds. I overestimated, and sometimes I do that with sneakers just to be safe, it is one pound, nine ounces. And the dimensions, it's really, really convenient to have these boxes here because if you follow this uh, OD number, it's going to give you the dimensions. Now, on eBay, they do ask you to round up. So for instance, seven, th seven and three eighths is going to be a simple eight inches by six by 15. You hit tab. It recalculates, but really it didn't because it's all the same. All we changed really were the ounces, um, but with priority, it's it has to be a huge change in location or weight to really affect the pricing. So we're going to go ahead and purchase our label, set my printer up with my paper, waste not, want not, people. That's what my mom said. I don't know about y'all, but... <laughs> So again, I've got my envelope here. Get this label out. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my next item. While I'm waiting, I try to keep the process going as much as possible. 
Now, before this video, I do have to put the disclaimer out there. I knew which products had sold, and I knew approximately what size boxes or packaging I was going to need. So I did go ahead and set them out, um, get them prepared, um, pull any boxes and packing materials that I might possibly need. Um, so that I was a little bit more prepared, I do try that as much as possible um, to have all my materials in one place before I get started. That way, I'm not starting something, running out to the garage to get some more supplies, and so on and so forth. So it will just, it will really simplify your life if you gather before you start, I promise. So, we are, now there are some people that, um, will swear up and down that you really need to tape your label on, even though it's already a sticky, um, I don't know, it's not for me, um, I've not had any issues, I've not had any complaints, I've not had any problems, um, to me it's an extra step, it's more materials, it's really needed, I mean, guys, it's on there, we're good. So, let's move on to another pair of shoes! It's like winning the lottery! Here we go! So, these ones are men's Brooks running shoes. Again, I'm telling you, Brooks, as a running shoe, Brooks shoes, if you see them at the thrift store, yard sale, garage sale, any of the above, and the price is right, um, I'm going to tell you right now that the, the likelihood of selling them for profit is... It's pretty good. So again, I know just by feeling these, I am over a pound by itself, but I want to see if the buyer has selected any particular shipping method. And there is nothing listed here for buyer selected methods. So we're safe in that regard. I get to pick and choose. I obviously am not going to fit these into a flat rate envelope. Let's not be crazy, okay? Uh, not a legal envelope, not a small box. My choices at this moment are the USPS priority shipping at 796, very reasonable, but this location is in fair proximity to us, so that would make sense. Or UPS ground at 1077, y'all. Every penny counts, listen to my words. Every penny counts. I know UPS is great. I know that they might get it there just a hair faster. Number one, my buyer did not select a particular shipment method. Number two, I like dollar bills, y'all. So I'm gonna go with the USPS priority, which means another USPS box. Whoop, whoop. So, let me get this ready. I know it's loud, I'm so, so sorry. Tell you what we already did one pair of shoes so i'm going to go ahead and pack up these shoes and a couple other small orders that i've got and uh, i'll be back in just a minute and we'll finish talking about uh, the rest of the shipping process thanks guys All right, so we have finished shipping for today. Um, it is a weekday. It doesn't tend to be one of our bigger days. Um, also, I'm, I'm only maybe 45 days into my selling um, on eBay. So we have five orders that are completed, two pairs of shoes, um, some razors, we have some lady product, and we have a cell phone case. Um, but we have put labels on everything. We've got them ready to go. So the next step is simply to drop them off at the post office. However, it is my personal recommendation that you do not just put them in the drop boxes, even though they've already been, um, they've got the pre-purchase labels, everything's ready to go. It is my personal recommendation only for my own bookkeeping and, and peace of mind that you take these to the post office and have them scan each one in individually. Um, and they'll print you a receipt and it'll just say zero dollars, but it shows that way that you have physically dropped it off and they have received your package uh, versus putting it in the Dropbox and, and Lord knows what can happen to it from there. But we've heard stories, we all know that, it, that there are systems in place that are not perfect, but this gives you just a little extra reassurance that you're part of the job that was completed. So all that's left is drop these off at the post office and uh, wait for the customers to leave us some feedback. So I appreciate you guys joining me today uh, for talking about shipping on eBay. 
Uh, hopefully we'll be back later this week and uh, we'll do a little bit of listing on eBay, how I like to do it, what my process looks like, uh, so on and so forth. So thanks for joining us again. If you enjoyed the content today, I really would appreciate it if you guys would hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We always have more content for you all about eBay and our journey as we are working to become a great seller on eBay. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time.